Hello and welcome to Morningstar. I'm Emma Warden here today to give his three fund picks is Anthony Gillam, co-head of multi-asset for Old Mutual Global Investors. Hello, Anthony. Hi, Emma. So what's the first fund pick today? Well, the first uh, fund that I want to talk about is the Bank of New York uh, US Equity Income Fund. Um, really interesting opportunity, I think, uh, uh, for, for, this, for this portfolio at the moment, uh, given, given where it's uh, positioned. Um, a valuation orientated fund, um, but with an income overlay, which, uh, which mitigates that value effect uh, somewhat. So it gives us, gives us some diversification. But what really interests me about this portfolio is, their fun, uh, is the manager's financials. Uh, positioning at the moment. And I think really good opportunity um, given where banks are in terms of their levels of capital um, in the US at the moment, but also a very interesting opportunity from a portfolio perspective. I think uh, a decent uh, allocation to banks, financials uh, in, in, in general, um, is, uh, is, is very good to diversify uh, fixed income exposure. Um, typically, I think at the, at, at the moment, you know, as interest rates rise, obviously your government bond position is is, is, is under threat, but potentially the banking sector is uh, in a really good place to benefit from that. So it gives us a gives us a nice good balance in our portfolios. So so good 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 pick for our for our for our, for our, for our, for our customers. And what is the second fund pick today? Well, the second fund I want to talk about um, is Wellington uh, Global Credit. Um, it's a fund that's actually been a stalwart of our portfolios um, for, for a number of years, but uh, yeah, probably probably the way I describe this internally is, uh, is is the team over at Wellington and Global Credit. It's really a bit of an alpha machine, um, something that's delivered from an alpha perspective consistently um, over the years. Um, but the reason I'm highlighting it now is because I think, again, market opportunity is, is there. Um, we've seen a lot of spread compression in high yield, um, so high yield yields coming down. Um, but where we've seen less yield compression uh, is in investment grade. Uh, and the Wellington Global Credit Fund really does focus on, on the investment grade part of, of, of the fixed income spectrum. So uh, good relative value opportunity, I think. And that's, I think, an important point to make because bond are rather unloved at the moment. You know, they've been bashed consistently for the best part of 10 years. We've been waiting for yields to, to start coming up, but obviously the longer it we leave it, the more likely it is to happen. However, they are still an important part of a multi-asset balanced portfolio, aren't they? You, if Absolutely. you're going to have portfolio diversification, which is going to give you less volatility, you do have to have a fixed income allocation. A Absolutely, I could, couldn't, uh, couldn't couldn't agree more. And you know, particularly when you think about uh, the the potential for fixed income to hedge deflation. Not necessarily my central case, but it's certainly something that when you're striving for portfolio balance and consistent returns, as, as we are at, uh, at Old Mutual, um, fixed income still has a role to play. And I think an attractive way to play that at this current point in the cycle is uh, investment grade credit. And what is the third and final fund pick? Well, my third and final fund pick is, is a little bit closer to home. It's the uh, old mutual um, style premier absolute return uh, fund. Very interesting, uh, I, I guess, sort of market opportunity in, in, in terms of absolute return factor, uh, fa uh, absolute return factor portfolio. So it's a portfolio that looks from a quantitative perspective um, against what well, looks at markets in a slightly different way. Um, so it looks at markets in terms of uh, value exposure, growth exposure, momentum exposure, income, and tries to aggregate stocks with those types of characteristics into one portfolio um, and then hedge out market risk. So it's potentially um, a portfolio that can give us access to um, important um, uh, market uh, market beaters, but to do that in a, in a, in a market neutral absolute return uh, type, of, type of fashion. So very useful portfolio diversifier while still giving us exposure to equity factors. Anthony, thank you very much. Thank you. This is Emma Wolf from Morningstar. Thank you for watching.